live with Senate candidate Tim Sheehy. Tim, how are you doing this morning? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Great. Well, and speaking of rally, there's there's a big rally going on later today, and we're going to get all into that. But first, I wanted to talk about some issues that Montanans are really facing right now and kind of get your take on them. A big one that I keep hearing from business owners, from just everyday people, the economy. I mean, inflation, people are having a hard time paying for rent, their houses, groceries, gas. What's your take on that, and what are you hearing from Montanans? Hearing the same thing. We've been to all 56 counties here in the last year, mm -hmm. uh, most of them multiple times. And the greatest tax of all is inflation. And it's the most regressive tax of all because if gas doubles or triples in price, the lowest income people are hurt the most. And what we've seen in the last three years in America is an upward transfer of wealth. Because when you have rising costs of everyday goods, whether it's energy, whether it's gas, groceries, everyday costs impact our lowest income people the most. Mm -hmm. So the working class in America has been getting squeezed out of the economy for the last three years. They're feeling it every day. They're seeing it on their gas and grocery receipts. And they're realizing that inflationary policies are harming every single American. And the hardest working, lowest class Americans are getting hurt the most. And just another crisis that is facing Montana, and unfortunately it's been facing Montana for a long time, is the drug epidemic that's going on. You know, methamphetamine, heroin, recently in the past five, ten years, fentanyl is a huge issue impacting the lives of everyday Montanans. And we have the main I-90 corridor going right through the heart of our state. Uh, but what do Montanans tell you about that crisis and, and what's your take on that? It's, it is acute. It is acute all over the state, but especially, as you said, our communities who are along interstates and our tribal communities. They are seeing this fentanyl coming into their, uh, uh, their local rural communities and then it's getting spread out to the urban areas and it is crushing families. It's destroying entire communities. And uh, it's coming up from the border, right up I-15. It's going where there's any reservations or local distributors. And from there, it's hitting every socioeconomic strata every race, every religion, doesn't matter. It is coming into our communities. It's extremely invasive and uh, it's a terrible, it's a terrible uh, phenomenon happening. We gotta start by securing our southern border. If we can secure the border and stop all this drugs from coming into our country and spreading all over the nation, um, that's the start. After that, we gotta increase enforcement domestically to make sure we're actually tracking down the distributors, arresting them and putting them away for a long time. And of course, this is just a beginning of the conversation that I'm sure will continue tonight over at the Trump rally, over at the Brick Breed and Fieldhouse in Bozeman. Now, Mr. Sheehy, when you learned that Trump was coming over here, you know, really in support of you, I mean, what went through your mind as a candidate and how do you think that this is, could impact the election coming up in November? Well, listen, it's an honor to have the former president here, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, he's won our state twice by double digits, and he's going to win it again by double digits. And uh, he's going to talk about common sense policies tonight, because we share that 100%. We're both common sense people that want to bring back common sense policies that work for every single American. Every single Montanans talk to me uh, that I've talked to talks about inflation, talks about the border, talks about gas prices, talks about they want the economy to work for them again, and that's exactly what Donald Trump did when he did in office. Uh, when he was in office, he unleashed the strongest economy in a generation, had the securest border in a generation. We had no foreign crises going on because uh, he showed strength and he showed common sense leadership. So him coming to Montana for us is a message to all Montanans that we're going to be aligned in our policies when we both win in November so we can put America first again. Well, candidate Tim Sheehy, you have a very long day ahead of you, so I don't want to keep you too long here. We're just happy that you made a little bit of time in your Friday um, for us on Montana this morning. So thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're going to take a short break. One week